All right, my friends, it is now time for the Weenie of the Week, brought to you by Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. Uh, Indie Spotlight Live is a show we uh, showcase all original music by all independent unsigned musicians. We're on every Sunday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. The screen name is, just like it is here on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, Indie Spotlight Live. And then I make the mistake, I look at the chat, nothing to do with this week's weenie, but Rob says, yeah, someone posted a video, a photo of a huge footprint on Facebook, Rob told him it wasn't him. <laughs> oh my god, okay, you guys are screwing me up. Okay, I gotta drop this link in the chat for those that are here at the live show. This week's weenie is Blake Shelf. Okay. Click, drop, enter. Have at it. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be dropped in the video description below. Alright, this week's weenie. Blake Shelton calls classic country fans old farts and jackasses. Not making this up. Uh, the reigning country music association entertainer of the year and reality TV personality. Oh, reality TV. Oh, wow. Blake Shelton made some disparaging remarks about traditional country fans in a recent interview with GAC as part of their Backstory series. Um, Blake Shelton said, quote, If I am male vocalist of the year, that must mean I'm one of these people now that gets to decide if it moves forward and if it moves on. Country music has to evolve in order to survive. No one, nobody wants to listen to their grandpa's music, and I don't care how many of these old farts around Nashville are saying, My God, that ain't country. That's because you don't buy records anymore, jackass. The kids do, and they don't want to buy the music you were buying. End quote. Now, I, I have to put my take on this. First of all, I don't agree with what he said, except for one part of it. And I've said this countless times during the show, and if you guys have watched any of my videos here on YouTube, you know I've said it. Music does have to evolve. But at the same time, you do have to look back at what created the genre you currently sing in. And to, to go and talk that kind of smack, that's good formula for pissing people off. Um, I myself, I love the classic stuff. I don't care for the newer stuff because it all sounds the same to me because it's what the recording industry thinks should be pushed out there. So it's not artist being artist, despite what he might think. It's a whore being a whore true future is the indies and yes it does have to evolve but all right let's think of okay i don't really know any independent country artists um but i i, I feel comfortable quoting cow punk pioneer pete berwick i'm not quoting but i don't imagine pete berwick would be talking smack about any of these older guys i just don't see that happening and nobody that frequents this show either you don't say that shit to people. That's fucked up. Okay. Country music legend Ray Price responded, okay, through Facebook, saying, quote, It's a shame that I have spent 63 years in this business trying to introduce music to a larger audience and make it easier for the younger artists who are coming behind me. Every now and then, some young artists will record a rock and roll type song, have a hit, first time out with kids only. This is why you see stars come out with a few hits only and then fade away believing they are God's answer to the world. This guy sounds like in his own mind that his head is so large no hat ever made will fit him. Stupidity reigns supreme. Ray Price. <laughs> Chief, old fart, and jackass. P.S. You should be so lucky as this old timer. Check back in 63 years and let us know how your name and your music will be remembered. End quote. Deb just said it in the chat. I was talking about Pete Berwick before I read that last part. Pete has complete and total respect for him. And he does. Ray Price. I love that. That was a good comeback. Well written. After receiving numerous comments and posts of this story and others, Blake Shelton took down one of his Facebook fan pages. Um, SavingCountryMusic.com has also attempted to confirm reports that numerous radio stations are pulling Blake Shelton songs from their rotation. Saving Country Music also asks that people be respectful to Blake in their comments. Blake Shelton responded through Twitter. Whoa, 
I heard I offended one of my all-time favorite artists, Ray Price, by my statement nobody wants to listen to their grandpa's music and probably some other things from that same interview on GAC Backstory. I hate that I upset him. The truth is my statement was and still is about how we as the new generation of country artists have to keep reinventing country music in order to keep it popular. Just exactly the way Mr. Price did along his journey as a mainstream country artist, pushing the boundaries of his records for the good times. Perfect example with the introduction of a bigger orchestrated sound in country music. It was new and awesome. I absolutely have no doubt that I would have worded it better as always. Ha! And I apologize to Mr. Price and any other heroes of mine it may have offended. I meant every word I said. Country music is my life and its future and past is important to me. I'll put my love and respect and knowledge above against ab- about it against anyone out there. Anybody! Hey, Easy Swag, welcome to the show. Okay, Ray Stevens got in on this one, saying, quote, I heard Blake Shelton's remarks about old farts and jackasses, and all I want to know is how he found out the title to my next single, because it's been a closely guarded secret here at the home. It will be available on vinyl on 8-track at your nearest tower record store. (laughs) Ah, he pissed off a bunch of people. Dale Watson chimed in. Ray Price is the best voice in country music, period, and some supremely mediocre voice like this fuck Blake Shelton should win. He is the Lance Armstrong of country music. Hell yeah! Love it. Anyway, the article will be linked. I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing to you. But Blake Shelton's this week's Weenie of the Week. Why? Because yeah. It's my show and I can do whatever the hell I want and talk about whatever I want. How do you like damn it? <laughs> Let's uh look at the chat and the com not a lot of people in the chat room tonight. Let's see what the chat comments are. Okay. Rob says there goes all his fans. Deb's got that awesome. Smiley with the hitting the head. Um, Rob says, funny thing is city people are trying to define what's country. That's like a farmer trying to tell a businessman how to sell a suit. Devin pointed out that Pete Berwick does have total respect for all that came before him, and I absolutely agree. Crap, can't remember my password. Well, who are you? Hi, Easy Swag. So, yeah. Hey, Nick. How you doing? So, yeah. This week's Weenie is Blake Shelton. Weenie of the Week brought to you by Indie Spotlight Live, broadcast on Blog TV every Sunday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Come by and join us at the show sometime. We have a lot of fun, a lot of great folks. And hope to see you here. Until then, have a great night and a great week.